Thanks for selecting ACS to be the provider of your bespoke clutch solution. We pride ourselves on being experts in everything clutch, and part of that is finding completely bespoke solutions for customers who have custom engine and transmission combinations. I'm gonna run through how to fill out the dimensional information on this sheet from your transmission. The first part of the process is we request some information from our customer. That comes in the form of dimensional information, application information, and then also something that will tell us a little bit about how you're gonna use the vehicle. Along with some photos of the transmission itself at the back of the engine and any components that you may wanna utilize. For the bearing back dimension, we want to make sure that that bearing goes all the way back and in order to do that we want to make sure that the slave is actually fitted because that could be one of the restricting points of how far back the bearing does go. For the bearing forward measurement, we want to bring the bearing and fork forward to a nominal position so that the bearing carrier is not falling off the end of the nose cone but also make sure that the slave's not gonna overextend and the piston's gonna fall out. The next dimension we're gonna to wanna to take is from the bell housing surface to the back of the guide tube where the bearing will bottom out. The next dimension we're gonna take is the diameter of the guide tube itself. We also need the spigot or pilot locating diameter on the end of the input shaft. In order to measure the spline length, we need the usable spline length. So if you take the dimension from where the edge of the taper finishes to wherever we can actually use the spline on a clutch disc, We also need the dimension from the bell housing surface to where the spline starts. And what we want to do is measure from the start of the usable spline section to where that bell housing face is. We also need the dimension from the bell housing surface to the end of the pilot or spigot register here. Sometimes that can be proud of this surface or it can be inset. We also need the information for the bearing that you have measured all of your dimensions with. So we need to measure from the bearing face to where it contacts the clutch fork here. Once you've filled out the dimensional information and the application information on the back of the sheet, take a photo of the sheet, take a photo of your gearbox and your engine and any clutch components you want to utilise, and then send an email with those photos to conversions at australianclutch.com.au and we'll be back to you very shortly on what we can actually offer you.